Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon XD. Uh, Gale of Darkness. I'm controlling this with the C-Stick. I'm actually surprised. Uh, so we're at the Pokemon Lab, but we, uh, we did everything we can do here right now. So we're gonna go to, uh, Kamenico's, uh, house. The peculiar manor is the home to the eccentric scientist, Dr. Kamenico. We have, like, a little scooter! Grout on. House with antennae. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we flip the page here. Uh, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. There is not anything here. So we can just go up to the door. Wait, what's this over here? Oh, it's just like a drum barrel or something. Wait, who goes there? You must be a burglar! Chobin will put you straight! Don't you move! Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kamenico. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. Okay, idiot. <laughs> Kamenico aid Chobin would like to battle. He sends out a stun gun. That? Hold on. Hold up. Hold the horses. Hold up. That looks off color to me. Sunkern, where are you? You're in, uh, you're here somewhere. Sunkern, Sunkern, Sunkern. There you are. Uh huh. Hmm. Let me go to, uh, newer version. It looks like it's off color to me. Uh, but I could be wrong. We're gonna bite it. Oh, that did a good amount. It's a level 5 Sun Converse or a level 10 Eevee. I don't think we're gonna, uh, I don't think we're gonna lose. Let's tackle it. There we go! There we go, our first Pokemon battle, and Eevee gained 55 experience. Not even enough to level up. Chobin lost! And we got 150 bucks, I'll take it. You have made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you are still not getting past Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. Ah, Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. You're Ryan? Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Oh, big brother! What are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big Brother, you got lost, didn't you? No. Uh, uh, uh! There's no hiding stuff from Jovi, because Jovi knows. This big house is Dr. Kamiko's. Dr. Kamiko's job is to make incredible inventions. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab. You should come in too, Big Brother. Ugh. That hurt. <laughs> Ryan, you are that girl's older brother? Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chobin finds it hard keeping an eye on her so that she does not bother the doctor. Oh, yes. Ryan, will you have a look at Dr. Kamniko's inventions? You will, yes? Okay, this way, please. Follow Chobin. Alright, into the house. Okay, Chobin will now show you the inventions of the inestimable Dr. Kamiko. Dr. Kamiko's inventions, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh, why does Chobin know that they are number one worldwide? That needs explaining. In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kamiko would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without question. 
Our Dr. Kimiko, who is very great, or verily great, is inventing in that room there. Hi, Doctor! What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know! Uh-oh. That girl is at Dr. Kimiko's side again. Jovin hopes she does is causing no disturbance. Anyway, let Chobin equate you with some, just some of Dr. Kamiko's greatest inventions. Let the VCR roll! Dr. Kamiko's inventions are normal in the world. Chobin's choice is this! Ta-da! The unhealthy sandals! The insoles is studded with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. Chobin thinks it's superlative. Aha! Incredible, is it not? There is much more than that, too. The doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chobin gives you permission to use this at any time you like. Dr. Miko's inventions are more than the world. Chobin's choice is this! Ta-da! The power-draining light bulb! At first glance, it's an ordinary sort of plain light bulb, but it positively gulps electricity at ten times the usual rate! Keep using this and electricity bills will grow shockingly! And it won't be easy to find out why. Chobin thinks this is dazzling. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Dr. Mika's inventions are the number one in the world. Chobin choices this. Ta-da! The superpower jet vacuum cleaner. Whatever it sucks up, it blows out the rear using powerful jet propulsion that shreds dust into fine particles. The more you vacuum, the more your room gets covered in an invisible coat of dust from corner to corner. Chobin thinks this is splur... Splendorous. Dr. Mika's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is this. Ta-da! The power-saving refrigerator. If the purpose is to conserve power, you won't be making a mistake with this refrigerator. It's truly one of a kind. It's an ultra energy saver that usually stays off. It only turns on when it senses somebody, uh, when its sensor detects somebody in front of it. Food goes bad right away, but no one knows why because the fridge, because the fridge is on when the door is open. Chobin thinks this is splendid. Oh my god, these are horrible. Dr. Mika's inventions are number in the world. Chobin's choice is this. Ta-da! The time cut recorder. It works with your video deck. When you're recording a TV program, this device ends the recording five minutes early. If you record a movie, you'll be at the best part <laughs> at the end <laughs> when suddenly the screen goes blank. We're still going. <laughs> Dr. Miko's inventions are the number one in the world. Chobin's choice is this. Ta-da! The discount calendar. It'll amaze you. It only has 300 days in a year. Anyone using this will lose 65 days a year. Chobin thinks this is astounding. These are so pointless. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We still, we still have plenty of time. Dr. Mika's invention is the number one in the world! Chobin's choice is this! Ta-da! The Poke Pole! It's not just a ball, it's a pole! Just like a Poke Ball, it's painted red and white, but it's just a pole! People can see their phone. People will confuse it with a Poke Ball society who will be engulfed in chaos! Chobin thinks this is bigger than this! <laughs> oh my god! I've never read all these before! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Dr. Kimiko's inventions are number one in the world! Chobin's choice is this! Ta-da! The Haunted Radio! It works just like an ordinary radio. That is, until 2 in the morning. If you listen very closely, you can hear a tiny voice. Please help me. Maybe Dr. Kimiko just put in an odd program to do that. He denies it, but he must have done it absentmindedly. He must have. Chobin thinks this is frightfully excellent. 
Oh my god. How many more do we have? Doxing message. Alright, so we're unhealthy sandals. So we, we got through them. <laughs> okay. The doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Joe gives you blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Did you come from the Pokemon HQ lab? My name is McCann. I run the parts shop in Gatonport. I was the lab director. Professor Crane, yes? Ah, yes. If you'd be so kind, please tell the professor that the machine part he needed is ready and that he should come get it any time. You there! You child! That area is off limits! Oh, and there's a, there's a mine in. There's a book titled, What Makes an Invention a Bringer of Joy? It's lined with different, uh, difficult looking books. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Hi, big brother! This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here! Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to get home, right? Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home! Mimi, let's go home with Big Brother! Jovi joined the party. Okay, let's move out. Jovi will visit again, Doctor. Bye-bye! Alright, she's gonna follow us around. Hmm? Incidentally, child. How long have you been here, hmm? That's how... That's how Dr. Kaneko is all the time. Chobin said that a genius has different sensibilities from ordinary people. The sensibility means you're kind of absent-minded and in a fog. Didn't people say Professor Crane is a genius? Okay. Wait, anything in here? Nope. Okay. All right, we we could we could leave now. <laughs> oh, email. Dear Ryan, you appear to have traveled far in your search for Jovi. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help with something. I can do that. What is it? What is it? Email from the professor? He wants you to come home quickly? Jovi is worried about letting you go by yourself, big brother. So Jovi will go home too. Let's go right now. Ah, oh, finally. Jesus. Oh, I actually have to I actually have to exit out the front. Dang it. Alright, there we go. Alright, back to the uh, HQ lab. And there she is, sitting on our back of the bike. Oh, hi, Mommy! We're back! Oh, Jovi, haven't I told you not to wander away by yourself? No, Mommy, you don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi wasn't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now, saying he can't go home. Right, Big Brother? Oh, God, I want to smack her. Oh, my, my. Jovi, you are such a brave and resourceful girl. But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Ada must be tired of waiting for you. Oh my gosh! I was in the middle of hide and seek! Okay, Big Brother, I'll see you later! Bye bye! Ugh. Ryan, thanks for finding Jovi for me. Ah, yes. Professor Crane wants to see you, right? Go see him right away, please. Alright, we can go we can go do that. Uh uh This one I think. I don't remember which one is supposed to be right. Okay, so Professor Crane. Just check and make sure he's not in there. He's not. He's not in there. Not in here. 
Where is he? Is he over here? On closer inspection, Jovi's attempts at makeup became apparent. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I guess he's downstairs. Oh, that's annoying. Where the hell is he? Like, seriously. Jovi must have been very tired. She'd fallen asleep in your bed again. She's such an angel. Where is she in? Get out of my bed! What does Jovi have to do to get him to lend Jovi those googly glasses? Think, Jovi, think! What is it, big brother? Jovi is planning. He's busy in a planning meeting. If you're sleepy, you can use Jovi's bed. <laughs> I deserve the double bed. I'm the older brother. I don't. I don't know where he is. Where the hell is he supposed to be? First trainer battle. Okay. Space number five. Where's that? Uh, oh. It's not. Okay, so it's in the other room. It's not this. It's up a floor. I looked there. He wasn't there. So he's in, he's in here. This is where we need to be. Alright, so when we come back, uh, more of this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you then.